What an exciting week we had on the channel. Some records were broken and games won at the last second. So let's get to the wrap up. Last Tuesday, Effort of Boys Basketball hosted Conestoga Valley in a Section 2 clash. In the first quarter, Effort is Lyle Kopp and CV's Will Stone traded buckets to keep it close, but the Buckskins seized control after that, running away with it, winning convincingly 71-57. Then on Wednesday, a first place showdown on the wrestling mats. Section two title on the line between Mannheim Central and Garden Spot. Spartan had the home cooking go in form, jumping out to a 48-3 lead on the Barons thanks to five pins in the match. Garden Spot wins it big 52-18, moving one spot closer to their first section title since 2014. Finally on Friday, what a game this turned out to be. Section three rivals, Mannheim Central, Cacalico Boys Basketball fighting for a playoff spot. Eagles went up big in the first half, but the Barons climbed back into it late, tying the game at 39 all. That's when Cacalico's Carter Nunnaville made the play of the game. You got a lot of options to choose from if you're Cacalico. Nunnaville slips through and got it! Cacalico wins this one in dramatic fashion, 41-39. Time for our Athlete of the Week. Big congrats go out to Manheim Central wrestler Will Betancourt, one of the lone bright spots for Central in the match against Garden Spot. Not only did Betancourt pin his opponent in 36 seconds, but Will broke the program's all-time wins record. It's quite a feat, folks. Incredible. Passing Jordan Ang. Betancourt now has 132 career wins and counting as a Baron. Just a heads up, Blue Ridge 11 is televising the LL League Wrestling Finals this Saturday, starting at 3.30 p.m. live from Mannheim Township High School. Make sure you tune in for a great day of wrestling championships. And that about wraps it up for us. We'll see you next week.